What is going on, DB Gang? It's your boy, DBGTX-YT here. I know it's a little bit early in the day, but I have to drop this video in relations to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Uh, around Reddit slash around the uh, anime Twitter, uh, there's been a lot of rumors. I'm going to say rumors because I've just been recently looking at the latest interviews of Sean Kemmel, Sean Shemmel, whichever way you guys want to say his last name. Um, cause like everybody has one way or another to say, but, uh, officially anyway. So apparently, uh, and shout out, I'll put it up on the screen in a second, but shout out to, um, the people who went ahead and got all this information for us. Uh, apparently there is an interview that Sean Schemmel is confirming that is right. He confirmed in the middle of the interview that he was talking about what new projects are coming out so on and so forth he confirms that um the majin buu saga for dragon ball z kakarot is coming to the game now why do i say it's a rumor or whatever the case might be is because thus far thus far the only thing that has been confirmed for the game, like I keep mentioning before, are playable characters, which in my last video, I'll leave it the link below, I explained that now the game can actually go up to the cell arc due to that. Uh, due to the fact that they added certain characters that you could play with, they, uh, you know, on, on the basis with Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, you know, and, and Piccolo. You can play with all four characters. That sets up a really good basis to be able to play into the cell games or into the cell saga now for a fact you might end up including trunks into that equation like i mentioned in my last video nonetheless we're not talking about inclusions and exclusions of how this is going to go we're talking about the interview uh in regards to of course uh the 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 Majin Buu saga in regards to that. So, Sean Kemmel states in the interview, and if you wanna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play it real quick for you. Shout out to my boy, DM Gaming 5 for breaking the news on Reddit. Uh, he posted up a video, I guess he got some information uh, from another source. He had mentioned that at the very beginning of the video, if you guys want to watch this particular video right here, you're more than welcome to go ahead and give my boy, DM Gaming, a shout out, a sub, follow my man's been on top of his thing too up and coming youtuber doing his thing anyhow um uh this is the video where he went he goes ahead and uh pretty much states that that, that, that this is going to the Majin Buu saga so if you're actually looking for the actual portion of the interview just go over to Sean Kemmel and San Diego Comic-Con interview and uh go over to 1241 1241 we'll go ahead and talk about it in the, in the upcoming near future well, Kakarot's coming out uh, early two early 2020 which is you can play in Kakarot there we have it to early 2020 right but check it out you can, it's an RPG you can play the entire Dragon Ball Z saga all the way through the Buu saga from beginning to end Buu saga from beginning to end saga all the way through the Buu saga from beginning to end now He's a voice actor for the game. So, um, in this regards, you could take his word as almost a hundred percent definer, or you could go ahead and say, well, he's a voice actor, you know, he's recording all these different lines. So they probably had him record, you know, voice lines for the Majin Buu saga but we don't know at the end of the day if those lines are even going to make it into the game or if those scenes or whatever are going to make it to the game those are the two arguments that I toss up there my particular take on this would be simple this is but another confirmation that we are getting Trunks as a character to play with and I'm assuming that the other characters that we have here are also going to go through phases too so that means that not only are we going to have goku with alternated gi we're also going to be having gohan growing up different hairstyles and stuff like that also piccolo which doesn't piccolo doesn't really change 
in game wise there's a lot of things that Piccolo that never does but there's been one game out of all the games which is Budokai Tenkaichi 3 that have definitely hit this note where they've done like an end like an early Piccolo from the early Dragon Ball Z stages and he looks younger which is a different design obviously because it was a different designer in Dragon Ball at that time then you have of course the Yamamuro design at the end of Budokai Tenkaichi which is called Piccolo End of Z or whatever the case might be so um it's a possibility that they can do a little bit of that and like when you play with Piccolo at first uh, the majority of the time, Piccolo is always wearing, you know, his turban and his thing, and then later on, he's not, and then towards the end, like, in the Boo Saga, he is. Things like that, like, little things like that that work at that. Um, but it's going to be interesting uh, in regards to the Majin Buu Saga, because the Majin Buu Saga doesn't play much with Piccolo. You know, the Majin Buu Saga... Uh, plays a lot with Goku, well not even Goku as much, but it plays a lot with Gohan, with Vegeta, the first act is mainly Gohan and Vegeta, was, you know, sprinkled with the Goku versus Vegeta, you know, uh, fight, and of course the revival of Majin Buu, but then the second act has everything to do with Goten, Trunks, the fusion, you know, and all that stuff, you'll have the Super Saiyan 3, but then you'll have the fusion, you'll have you know, the adult Gohan, the Vegito, you know, uh, so all of that, it, the, the, once you get to the part where you get Gotenks out of the equation and the training with Goten and Trunks and the fight with Super Boo, you know, and all that, once you get those things out of the way that have to be answered, then yes, I can possibly say that with the characters that we have on screen or the characters that have been released to be playable, it could go all the way up to the to the Majibu saga. I'm no longer denying that anymore, that this game can go past the Frieza arc. As far as they show at the beginning, they, it looked like it wasn't. But I think that from the uh, from the spectrum at this point, uh, from all the news that we've gotten and from all the videos and all the stuff that we've gotten, and all the little leaks here and all the audios here I, it's safe to confirm that the game is definitely going to give us more than the frieza saga as much as the cell as the ending of the cell games and uh as far as the majin buu arc he's stating here uh sean shamu stating that uh is going to go to the end of the boo arc now is it because he recorded those lines already for the game i don't know is it because you know he ended up blipping that or saying that accidentally you know in regards to it just being dragon ball z kakarot and he said hey you know we're doing dragon ball z kakarot where well, you could do all this and he ended up saying it like that i don't know but at the end of the day it definitely is a way to confirm that the game is at least going past the cell games at least from my perspective um onto official news isn't released i say rumors like i stated at the very beginning of the thing this audio clip this audio video everything on the sword uh it's an interview but it doesn't necessarily confirm 100 percent that that's what's going to happen i've had We've had plenty of voice actors, and Geekdom knows this one. Shout out to my mentor, Geekdom. We have plenty of voice actors that have said that Dragon Ball Super Part 2 is coming out. We've had a few voice actors go ahead and go ahead on record and say shit like that. And that's and they've been literally shot down and said, nope, that's not true. So those things is why I don't go ahead and post a video like this and be like, yes, it's 100% confirmed that it's going to the Majin Buu Saga. More than likely it is. Now, when I get official details from the official site um, or from an official post on Twitter, I will go ahead and update you guys and let you know, yes, now it's 100% confirmed. Now, when they release Trunks, I will guarantee you guys that it's 100% confirmed that it's going to go to the uh, end of the cell arc as far as I know that's all the information I can give you guys at that point 
at this point we can debate we could say that it's a 95 percent confirmed that the that the cell games are included in this game with this interview we can go ahead and say 65 to 70 percent confirmed that it will go towards the end of the Majin Buu arc um but we still are waiting for physical evidence of those particular seasons whether it's screenshots whether is something official not 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 no, not no interview from the voice actors not no interview you know if it was if it was a director saying this it'd be different but again sean shemu is the voice actor for goku and even though he can go on record and say this and this can be everybody else's confirmation they turn around and release a game and it doesn't include what he just stated. And that's because maybe they recorded those lines for either the second iteration, for the DLC, or for whatever. So those are my reasonings behind why I stated it's a rumor uh, that I'm not 100% confirming it. But I'm definitely in high hopes that this does mean that this is exactly what's going to happen. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed the discussion, make sure you go ahead and hit that sub. Make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up. We're aiming for 20 that's right. I was about to say 10. 20 thumbs up on this video. And we're going to continue bringing you guys more uh, details and discussions in regards to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. That being said, again, shout out to my boy DM Gaming 5 And shout out to my people over on Reddit for those uh, bringing out the interview and whatnot. Holla at your boy, DBGTX, over and out.